Yo guys, what is up? It's Teach here coming at you again with another video over on Ark Survival Ascended. And I wanted to talk to you about something that I think might actually be happening for the first time in a little while. I think Ark Survival Ascended is making a little bit of a comeback because we all know when it did get released, it came out really strong. People enjoyed it. The graphics were great. But then the more people played, the more bugs they realized, the more issues, the more cheating, the more everything that kind of started to show up. Now, that being said, there is still some major issues inside of Ark, but there are quite a few things that kind of lean towards there's going to be a lot more players that start moving over to Ark Survival Ascended. And there's a few basic reasons, right? And I'm going to talk about those reasons and kind of give you some positive outlooks as to why Ark is kind of probably going to be making a pretty big comeback over the next few months. Now, yes, they did just cancel the center map. However, Scorched Earth releases in less than two weeks, right? Now, that's a huge thing. Even though Scorched Earth is not a very popular map, they're bringing some crazy content to it, including an Oasis Soar. Trains are being introduced into the game. The map got redone entirely, so hopefully there's some actual changes to the game so it's a little bit more reasonable to actually play. Um, but it's it's got a lot of really unique things that are incoming for the game. Now, that does excite me, and I don't know if it does excite you or not. But when I hear like new content and things that change the meta, that's what makes me excited. Because sometimes Ark, especially the reason that it failed so far, is because we've only had this map that I'm on right now, the island, right? If I fly up in the air, it just, you know, I you can see that I'm basically stuck on this island. And there's nothing special about it. There's nothing great about the island. Don't get me wrong, it's a good map. But it's not your Ragnarok, it's not your Extinction, it's not Genesis, there's nothing special. It is just a map. There is literally nothing about this map that is going to make you like, oh man, I mean the Ascension Cave is cool, but there's no Wyverns, there's no ma Mana Garmers, no Magma Sores. There is nothing of special quality on a map like this, so it's not super great. Now, what they're lacking is that new content, so Scorched Earth being able to use that is going to be a huge deal. Because Scorched Earth is going to enable the player base to actually switch between maps and not just island to island, there's going to be a huge influx of players. Now, if they do it right and reduce the amount of graphical errors and things like that, that's going to make a major difference. Now, what do I mean by that, right? I'm going to go ahead and go to the main menu and show you what I mean by that. So basically, you can see that they've been releasing a ton of updates for Arc. Now, you can see if you click through all of this stuff, there's a lot of unique things. But one thing they don't tell you if you're unless you're actually reading what's going on, they're actually releasing updates before the full large update comes out. So the Scorched Earth update has had a bunch of smaller updates released ahead of time to try and reduce and troubleshoot the bugs that are likely to exist because some people's characters have been totally destroyed by it. And uh, some people are really pissed off, which makes sense. It makes perfect sense why you would be pissed off by something like that. But they also have released things like the Gigantoraptor in a mod instead of straight into the game. This allows them to ideally edit and adjust the actual issues without having to change the whole game. So they can do like hot fixes and stuff like that, which is a huge, huge difference. Now, that does make a big thing. Now, hopefully they continue that kind of strategy. I know some people are like, well, it's stupid. Why wouldn't they just fix the game? And man, you've never actually thought about how difficult it is to play mods if you've never thought about that. Or not play mods, but do updates because you release an update and you have no intent of what actually it's going to break. And then it comes out and you're like, oh, man, it's actually really broken. So being able to release it as a mod or to mini release before the full update comes out makes a massive difference in arc and i think that's going to make players really happy now the next thing this is something this is more of a thing that i think you should avoid at all costs if you are playing a game and you're thinking about official just don't do yourself a favor official right now is a nightmare the servers that do have high populations if you look through them are typically pvp servers and they typically have insane ping on them and once you log on, it's like 30 man alphas running each one of these servers. So it's not even fun because they just wipe the entire map on a regular basis. And there's a lot of toxic crap that's going on. So as long as you stay away from the official servers and stick to more of an unofficial player base, you can see there are a lot larger number of players on some of these things. Plus you've got resets, plus you've got wipes, you've got all kinds of advantages to playing on these things, which is a huge difference and it should make you super excited. Now, the last thing I'll bring up when it comes to servers is the Nitrato issues. I know a lot of people are having major problems because Nitrato essentially limits the amount of gigabytes that you can use and it's the only service provider. There's no real incentive to 
have an affordable reason. I think that they're too expensive right now, but that's personal opinion. So a lot of people are actually hosting their own servers. A lot of these, these where you see a hundred on them, these guys are probably running all of their own hosted servers instead of actually playing through the uh, Nitrato side of things. Now, I don't know that for sure, but you can always show player servers and that'll actually indicate who is actually not running on Nitrato. And uh, you can see all of these aren't. So just keep that in mind. I don't like that they made that a button, but it is what it is. Um, and then the next thing is similar to Evolved, right? So basically once this gets released, I'm just gonna go ahead and log back into the game so you can see it. Um, when Survival Evolved got released and it first came out, it was a very slow early access because they only had one map and they were releasing content and creatures as they went. It was a slow burner. It wasn't something that became the game it suddenly was. Ark Survival Ascended seems to be following a similar path. Even though it's only got 11,000 active players at the moment, those players are going to go up steadily as we release more and more content. Very similar to Ark Survival Evolved. For those of you that played day one and you know what I'm talking about, when it came out in early, early access on PC, it was nightmare, right? There was chaos. There wasn't even online play. It was kind of weird. Um, and it was just a good game, but it had a lot of room to grow. And I think that's where Survival Ascended is taking us, right? Because of the fact that I'm getting through all this stuff, I think that it's really important to mention that it is a slow grind. But the reason that they're releasing all these weird content things and kind of changing a lot of what they're changing and having the higher graphic settings and those kind of stuff is to be completely honest, Ark Survival Ascended is not their long term goal. Their long term goal is to test things that are capable of being released in Ark 2. Arc 2 is still scheduled to release later this year, so keep that in mind. And all of these new creatures and things they're releasing, if you look at the actual image that got released a couple days ago, um, you'll notice that there's a whole bunch of really crazy new concepts. One man flying machines, right? You've got a car that's being released, a train. All of these things indicate to me that they're testing systems in Arc Survival Ascended for arc 2 including a new skin based system that they're probably thinking about for arc 2 that they want to include so it's some sort of like battle pass if you want to think of it that way where you can have these new custom skins per map which i think is really cool and uh, some people are like i don't want to pay more money for the game then you don't have to buy it there's uh there's options to do that but if you do like arc i think there are a lot of changes coming that are going to be pretty massive and they're going to break a lot of things so keep that in mind right because as i look around yes the graphics are exponentially better than arc survival of all now you need a really high-end graphics card to run it which kind of sucks but all of like the water the actual movement of creatures the shadow quality all that kind of stuff is really strong in arc survival ascended and to me this is all a test bed i love arc but they're really testing for arc 2 what it's capable of now i also realize that i think arcs and some people are like arc 2 is not coming out well, they just announced and by the way if you haven't seen it yet if you go to paramount plus there's actually a release like a thing for arc survival evolved or arc um the animated series is what it's called on paramount plus and they actually have a few episode descriptions on there now if you haven't been to reddit and seen those as well there's definitely a bunch of people that have taken pictures so you can see as well but they have officially announced that that is coming out and i guess paramount plus is going to be the one having it i've also heard rumors that disney is also going to be one of the people that carries it so releasing that anime is going to bring a ton of people that either haven't played arc or like oh i've got a little bit of an itch to play arc survival ascended again and they're going to come back for that reason now all of that being said right this is a lot of information and i don't mean to just like drop it all on you there are definitely negative things that exist inside of Ark. I'm not trying to hide that fact. Fact of the matter is, is there's a ton of cheaters still. Not really something we can do about that for the time being because, well, yeah, there's just a ton of cheaters and duping is always going to be a problem in any, any game like this when you can travel around and do stuff like that. Graphic issues are still existing because people want to play on higher level graphics, even though it's tanking their systems. And then the saving issue, there's a lot of issues that still exist, and I completely understand that. What I'm telling you is give it a little bit of time. Let's see what happens with Scorched Earth releases. Let's see what kind of content they bring. Let's see what kind of stability changes they make, because I don't know if you've been paying attention to their patch notes. They have released a ton of stability issues, like patch note issues. Um, they have solved a ton of stuff, making it easier to run servers on your own, uh, your own and easier to play solo mode. Now, I understand Xbox is still having issues with save files, However, I've heard a lot of people had those resolved, so let me know what you think about that. But again, this is just me ranting on whether or I guess why I think ARK is going to make a huge comeback over the next few months. I'm going to be playing the crap out of it. I know I've been playing a bunch of other games because I'll be completely honest with you. 
I was also just burnt out. I can't play the island for months on end without any additional content. The only new thing they added was the Gigantoraptor. Like, come on, it's gotta be more than that. Um, so once they start releasing these other maps, it's gonna bring back my favorite arc experience where I get bored of the map and I jump onto a new one. And then I get bored of that one and I jump onto another one. So definitely check that out. Now, if you don't mind, you haven't already smack that like button, leave a comment below for the algorithm and then consider subbing to the channel for some more arc content. I'm getting back into arc and I think you should at least, if you already have the game, just once Scorched Earth release, give it a try. Just see what you can see because there's a lot of neat stuff that's coming out. So anyways, hopefully this video helps you out. And other than that, teach.